Hey guys and gals, I got a request to retest the IMI 115 grain EX star load. Originally we tested this a few months back with the different IMI loads that were available in the 115 grain full metal jacket, the 124 grain full metal jacket, and these. We couldn't get them to expand in water. So now that I got a gel block, I figured we could see if they'll expand out of the MMP. If not, we'll take a shot with a CZ and see what we get. We have our same 10% clear ballistics gel block. We have four layers of 12 ounce denim, and we're gonna be at 10 feet. We'll try to record the velocity if possible on impact. Let's get set up. All right, let's do this. Again, we're at about 10 feet. Impact velocity was 1,204 feet per second. You can hear that water, I bet you guys can guess what happened. Moon path right here. You can see some temporary cavity going on there. Stretches, stretches, and starts to stop. Takes a nose dive towards the bottom of the block, but doesn't exit. And here's where it gets interesting. Entered this jug and exited, entered and exited this jug, entered and exited this jug, and is in the fourth jug back here. And they pulled out of there. So there was our recovered round in the fourth jug. Little to no expansion at all. Mainly just the tip is deformed a little bit. I don't see any blue jean material in there I would have clogged it, just didn't expand. I wonder what would happen if we shot it out of the Evo. Let's get set up. All right, since we couldn't get this to expand out of the five inch barrel MMP, let's try something with the seven inch barrel. See if it'll expand. Impact velocity was 1,287 feet per second, and I see water again. So there was our shot impact. This one right here is our wound channel. There's good temporary cavity almost the entire length of the block, but as you can hear, there's no water in jug. There's no water in jug number one. Jug number two is leaking. Jug number three. Jug number four. Let's pull the bolt out of there. So here is our recovered round. Again, no expansion whatsoever. This nick on the side of the bullet right there is actually from the bullet impacting the calibration BB and knocking it back a little ways. The temporary wound cavity is pretty impressive because it seems to extend the full 16 inches of block but we're talking about pistol calibers here and we want a good sized permanent wound cavity and we want expansion. I'm gonna have to see if I can find a 16 inch barrel 9mm to test this stuff out of. I definitely wouldn't carry this in a 8 inch or shorter barrel gun. I mean there's no expansion at all. Why bother even paying for it as a jacketed hollow point when you can just buy HST or Ranger T or Gold Dots or something that's going to expand. Thanks for watching.